Uh, let's see. Do we want to switch characters? We might as well. Fucking cleric. Let's try assassin though. Looks like you could use an extra blade. Because yeah, the problem is chain strike does three damage, and lets you draw a card, which is cool. Um, it's a damage per damage block. That could be really good on a different character. Do I want the Temp Venom Strike or the Thunder Slam? Let's go with the Thunder Slam for the time being. Yeah, you'll know if you can upgrade a card when it says, um, uh, when it says, like, Chain Strike 1. This place must be purified. Let's Everybody do got this. gears. Yeah, I mean, the benefit to a lot of this is you do actually end up... You do end up making progress. Like, with every kill, Let's you do get a little bit further in the game. But, like, the difficulty curve on this is... Uh, unsatisfying. Because, more or less, I... I completely skunk T1, and then get to T2 and immediately die. Rinse, repeat, until I... Give up and leave. Set trap. Shuffle a trap into the enemy's draw deck. When the trap is drawn, the enemy loses 10 HP. And, like, I wish it was a little bit more of a streamlined difficulty curve. Hook shot. Six damage. The enemy has no block and dodge. The enemy discards and draws up to one random card from your hand. Hmm. I haven't taken any damage. Let's draw a card, hit him with an attack, too. So there's the trap. I like it. I wish it was more of a stun. I'll have to find a character that specializes in retaliations. Because I think that could be really fun. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go to the altar. Let's see if we get anything fancy this time around. Uh, let's see. Ten starting mana. Start all battles with bleeding. No thank you. That doesn't sound very fun. Okay, so let's delete attack one, as as per our usual, and go after the undead mage. Here we go. Mulligan this for something a little bit more exciting. He seems cool so far. I, I just wish I could almost switch out, like, a lot of these attack skills, uh, like, immediately. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I could get a kill strike two, extra starting AP, go for the dagger. Go for some max HP. Go for the dagger. Hand management is nice. Even go. if it means just cycling cycling cards for a little bit of extra damage. Perfect. Okay. Well, we're kicking ass, but I'm like, that's that's the problem. I'm always kicking ass on T1. And then I get to T2 and it's just like, well, I'm dead. I think part of it is, once I start getting some more T2 equipment, like the really good stuff, then I'll be unstoppable again until we get to T3 and then rinse repeat. Let's see. So I'm not using AP as much yet, but now I will be. I don't think I would have been able to kill him. I might go back to using uh, barbarians or something. Somebody, somebody with a little bit more heft. How's he gonna kill himself? Yep, there it goes. Oh, well, he killed himself on the trap. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I can delete a card. Frost strike. Nah, let's delete a card. Treasure. This will get me some good money. And improvise, I I guess. Well, I've almost pared down my deck pretty pretty well here. I see them dodge my attack. Yeah, I will have to try Is it is it Rangers? 
I'm unsure. I just, I'm really liking Retaliate, and I want to see which class specializes in those, because if, if I could have a Retaliate deck, that could be, that could be kind of obscenely strong. Maybe. But at least mean I take less hits. And in our, our Shardar Knowledge. I like mana shards. If I remember right, she's the thief and I should be using her abilities. Yep. Should be. Haven't been. Which is a bad goof. Oh, I got to discard a card. Uh... Wasn't it there we go. We would win? Okay. So, let's go to the captains. I, my starting AP could be better, but let's start upgrading these. Probably upgrade Kill Strike, because that actually does a bunch of damage. Let's see, add 15. It looks like you can upgrade Kill Strike quite a lot, too. The basic card upgrades you're looking for after the part of the class only upgrades it's been so long I forgot you know that's a good point going all in on kill strike at least for a little while and let's get rid of one of the improvises okay what do we have hook shots concentrates let's see we've got the dagger armor retaliate poison damage none of these are amazing Keep saving my money for the next tier and then not living long enough to actually use it. But that's okay. Oh, I got to discard something. Uh, get out of here, improv improvise. But no, I, you're actually completely correct. There, There is some means of getting rid of those basic attack cards for more interesting ones. I'd actually kind of forgotten just because I've been mostly working on getting my, uh, getting my really basic, uh, somebody just went by, bass is so loud I can feel it in my butt. Wild. Okay. Should just kill it? Perfect. Okay, so we've already been to the merchant. Time to just go kill the spider queen. Uh, but yeah, I've been so I've been so focused on getting my hands on the uh, the basic uh, like universal cards that I haven't really focused on any of the class ones, which I realize is actually maybe a bit of a mistake. It's hard to say. Main thing is just I'm not sure which characters I want to even focus on anyway. Okay, let's just go for the attack. Four is perfect. Let's see, does kill strike do more damage if you cast it first? It does more damage if it's the only kill strike you use. Your attacks this turn cannot be dodged. Or we could find an item. Find an item. Don't know if it was any good. Okay. I understand this spell now. Oh, Thief 2. Talent for Ebony Book after completing a level. Copy the next one card played. So these are for the, the minions. These are for the glasses here. Hmm. So all assassins gain 5% dodge chance or 2% crit chance and a crit multiplier. All rogues start with extra AP. Barbarians gain HP regen. Might be good, but probably isn't that amazing. Let's see. Treasure chests have one extra card. 
Find coins, gain cords when played, give you money. Let's get card saved and focus cards. Because that might be useful. Okay, what did we pick up? So damage was an undead, and that's just bad. I mean, it's probably not actually that bad, but still. Okay, let's see if I get wrecked again here. These monsters will be a challenge. See, thief ability getting ignored is what you missed mainly. Uh, oh, just that? Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting about her, her gold Let's steel do this. ability. I shouldn't. Uh, physical resist for a turn. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay, go after the druid? Might as well. Any XP, two pure damage for each card in your discard pile. 10 damage plus one for each card in both discard piles. Let's go for the Call Raven. Okay, let's camp here. We get berries. Sure. Probably could have actually used that to heal up now that I think about it, but whatever. Uh, let's see, gain a card, 20 gold. Let's gain the 20 gold and hope we find a merchant. Because I can buy some kind of good equipment here. Poison clear on turn end, block per turn. Or 5% crit and dodge, frost damage per attack, temp dexterity. Or 6% crit chance, plus one of poison damage. Instantly kill your enemy, enemy, delete this card. Your enemy is a boss or a hero, draw a card instead. Draw a card if discarded manually. That weapon's pretty good. I'm gonna buy the Seabane Dagger. And we're gonna go after probably the Centaur. I'm not entirely sure what's gonna kill me. The answer is freaking everything. I have not managed this character nearly as well as some of the other ones. Oh, but yeah, so we did manage to buy one of our first, like, T1 items here, which is good. Improvise, I've got plenty. Just want to make sure I have enough AP to use all of this. And Call Raven, which does a decent chunk of damage. Okay, so we actually, we actually hurt him pretty bad. Oh, right. Gotta remember to use the gain gold ability. Okay, we got that. Kill strike, hook shot, and we're good. Probably should have done a concentrate, but whatever. Okay, so I'd have to fight a spider level 8. Go for this one. Not a good spot for this, but that's okay. Mulligan that. Ooh, this should be kind of fun. And Call Raven is meaningless. So I'm going to hold on to that. At least until it gets a bit fuller. Okay, so let's get rid of Improvise. Could have waited on that one. I might be able to kill the spider. It might kill the shit out of me. We'll see. That's down to this round. If it kills me, then end of the road for me. But if it doesn't, then it dies. Yeah, got the trap. Perfect. All right, we level up. We don't die. Card save. Draw two cards. Choose one card. Discard from your hand. Lost two AP, though, which is a bit rough. Double trap. Double trap might be kind of fun. Let's go card sieve though, because that lets me pull in more. 
Okay, so we survived that one. It was a bit dicey. Let's go after the undead rogue. Here we go. This should be fine. Mana shards, dagger, concentrate, draw a card. Ah, I didn't. I didn't manage my AP nearly well enough, but that's okay. Okay, hook shot, hook shot, and kill strike. I can't do venom strike, unfortunately. It's okay. He's almost dead. Let's see. God, rogues are freaking brutal. Oh, new card, execute. Okay. It isn't over well, yet. I at least get a healing potion. That makes up for some of it. Let's go for the Merc. The spirits will guide my hand against these foes. Okay, this should be fine. Set trap, kill strike, and then we've got the one retaliate. Okay, so he's got what I have. Let's heal up a bit. Hook shot, take something from him. Attack, card sieve. Discard, kill strike. Grab dexterity. Trap him. Now he did a trap on me as well. Like this, this butt face is the exact same as me. Open physical resist would protect it protect against those traps. The answer is a very distinct no, and I'm about to die. Because yeah, he dumps way more traps than I ever do, because his hand is apparently just larger than mine always is. Eh, maybe it's not. It just feels like it. See, he's got 24 HP. I'm not gonna be able to kill him this turn. Oh, and I somehow died. Probably because I drew a card, got hit by a trap. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Let's go... Cleric? Or knight? Counterattacks and... Okay, perfect. I will strike from the shadows. As long as we... As long as we stop for... By your leave. Yeah, let's go with this guy. Okay. Well, let's try this one more time, and then probably stop. So, damage per damage blocked, plus HP regeneration. I'm gonna try the damage blocked. Versus undead, temp retaliate. Hopefully the bonus to frost damage counts on the Seabane dagger. It'd certainly be nice if it did. Let's see, so what do we do? I mean, honestly, to some degree, it doesn't even matter which one I'm going for. So you go Necromancer. I played Necromancer too much. I mean, I probably should, considering he's better, but like, eh. Gut King. Let's go to the campfire first. Okay, camp here. Claim rewards. Elgin for goodies. Charge up. Choose one, draw two cards, gain four AP. Draw some cards. Blocks the next two points of damage you receive and draw a card. Okay, so this character might be incredible. Depending on how I roll this. Because I do bonus damage for every for every damage I block. Okay, consumable. Up, let's upgrade a card. Let's upgrade those defense as much as I can. Okay, this should be fine. Defend two. Let's see. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, go after the spider next. This should be fine. Double dexterities, which... 
gain extra APs, draw a card. Yeah, I'm liking the block situation. It seems like that's going to make me into a bit of a... In, into a bit of a powerhouse, which I'm excited, I'm excited for. Okay, let's mulligan this. I'm drawing a fair bit. My crit is pretty good. I guess we've got a 5% crit, so yeah, that's not bad. I think I might have to upgrade this character. Enemy discards a random card in their hand. Discard the top two of the enemy's draw deck, or peak. Confusion, I don't know if it'd be very good. Go peak. Hello. Let's upgrade. And physical damage. Let's keep upgrading those defense. Okay, Indomitable. Draw a card. If this card is discarded by another card's effect, draw two cards, recover 35. Or... Ooh. Perseverance. Absolutely. Not back down. Okay. So, Mulligan, charge up. Draw two APs, get a card. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting than that. That's fine. I just wanted to defend. And yeah, now I'm forgetting about her move, but that's okay. Peak. Attack three. Got it. Nothing fairly exciting, but that's that's fine. We are we are a durable man. A little bit of regen. Unfortunately, regen does not help nearly as much as I'd like in this game. Shit, there's a lot of merchants around here. I don't need that many merchants. Okay. But yeah, I think I think I might upgrade this character. We currently have a gear set that makes them a little bit stronger than all of the other ones. Let's see. Draw two cards. Dexterity, peak. I honestly don't care right now. Probably should. Okay, I want to double check this. Plus one damage per damage block. Block. So, how much damage does that do? That only did three. Or no, he blocked a bunch. Wow. Yeah, that's incredibly good. Five damage. If this is the first card played, add ten pure damage or gain mana instantly. Or I could delete a card. Delete a card. We gotta get rid of those attacks. I'm here to defend. Let's see. Wonder why am I dying so much? Also wonder I don't need max HP ups. Plus five max HP is really not that helpful. When I'm taking a hundred damage in a fight, that five AP HP does not make a damn difference, man. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, so because of this, plus one damage per damage block, that more or less means that everything I kill, or every every time I get hit, as long as I block it, I get to just hit them with all the damage back. Let's see. So yeah, the more the more defense I can just jam on me. The more I just do tons of damage. Unfortunately, I think I wanted to kill that thing, but I was just too busy blocking. It's fine. Mulligan. Well, that one went fast. I guess let's go to the merchant. Okay, so let's delete a power, uh, a regular attack. Let's upgrade power strike. View wares. What does she have? Ironheart cloak. Draw on dodge. Damage per blocked. So, also pretty good. And temp pure strike. That might actually be worth going for.
Because that's effectively the rare version of this. We lose the regeneration, but we gain draw on dodge and a pure strike. I'm not actually sure if that's really that good in retrospect. The little bit of HP regen, no, actually isn't really that amazing. Okay. Enemies gain two random elemental attack cards. I don't think that should matter. I have fire resist now. They shall feel my fury. Oh, we've got enough AP. I should probably increase my starting AP by a smidge. Oh, he was physical immune for that one. Whoopsie. Well, actually, I should probably just nuke him into oblivion with a fire blast. There we go. Okay, level up. Da da da. Everything else is good. Let's go to the other merchants and see what they have. So, armor versus missile, AP drain immunity. No. Starting mana? No. Because what could be amazing is if I actually got multiple things with the damage per, per block. Because if I could have, like, plus three damage per block, that would make me unstoppable. The restoring hell might not be bad. I think I still want to save up, though. Ooh. Restoration isn't terrible. But not that important right now. Okay, this is good. Defend Perseverance. Charge up. Do we want to draw two? No. Get some more APs. Just stack that block. Never mind, he did. Okay, go for the Ranger. It's probably fine. I'd like it if I could start with just a smidge of block. That would probably make a massive difference. Perseverance, defend, concentrate, uh, let's draw a card. Okay. Shields are up. Unfortunately, they like to strike through my armor, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, that's okay. Okay, we get some gold. Let's kill that Cyclops, and let's see if I can go after the other one. Uh, let's see. That's Mulligan. We got better than that. Well, still not giving me what I'm looking for, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, he's got a lot of pure strikes, which sucks. Uh, let's see. APs draw a card. Defend up, do a bunch of damage. Okay. No more pure strikes, you jerk. He is all pure strikes. Do draw a card. Let's heal up. And we've got him kind of on the ropes at the very least. There we go. Beautiful. We're defeated, we get a random item. We've leveled up. Oh, let's see, dissipate. Well, in your hand, cancel the next magic card. Yes. So dissipate's really good. And we want to go back to this merchant. He wears. We want to buy the Ironheart Cloak. Okay, so where is... So we got these... Completing a level. Enemy becomes weak to all elements. Temporary element orb. The paladin one would be good. Recover 50% of your HP. Uh, let's see. Replace an attack one with a defend one. Let's go defense boost. Attack with roar. Yeah, I'll work on upgrading the sucker. At least a little bit. So we'll lose, we'll lose our HP regen. But the drawn dodge might be kinda nice.